one other kind of Shakespeare one to be or not to be. Just kind of showing off her outfit. I like how small her, her face looks here compared to her broad gymnast shoulders and then the big step up heels and the kind of Alice in wonderland -y socks and the buckles. Those buckles are just worth the whole picture right there. Just the whole picture. It's hard to believe I made that. By the way, I'm gonna tell you this and this might be so beautiful you might cry. Let's say you have no talent at all, right? You're not gonna learn cameras or maybe you have a biological impairment, right? Maybe your, your hands don't work, maybe you don't have hands. You know, maybe there's, there's something that prevents you from working with a camera. You can, you can be the producer. You can get the camera girl over, the camera dude, and you can get the model. And it's really good to have models that you love working with that are, that are a pleasure. Um, I, uh, I like working with, with uh, ladies that are pretty. I'm not, I'm not against working with people that aren't uh, cla you know, classically attractive. Uh, but being homeschooled, um, I wasn't around a lot of girls until I was 15, and so doing art was a way for me to get to socialize with more people because I, I was like I got really heavy in college um, <laughs> it was an accident I somehow didn't know that sugar made you uh, gain weight until I was like 30 like it just that just somehow missed that I knew calories would do it but I didn't know sugar would do it so I gained a lot of weight suddenly and I was like 320 pounds in college and so I was looking for a way to establish better relationships with people um, that would also align with the things I already was doing that I liked. So I had a double motivation for arts. Uh, but back to the point. So let's say you want to socialize. Uh, you can f get, get a few bucks if you can get like, I tend to pay my models like between 15 and $25 an hour. Um, if it's nude work, it's like $25 an hour. Um, if it's not, it's like 15. Um, if they're popular, I might pay more. Like if she, they have like thousands of followers on Instagram. Um, so get that much, get 15 bucks per hour for a photographer, uh, or maybe just grab a friend. They'd be like, Hey, you're going to learn photography and I'll set everything up because I'm social. Like you're not social. I'm social. So you can just have the photographer come and have the model come and then have one of your editors be like a helper and then have one of your friends like sorry have one of your friends be the editor later have one of your friends help move lights or whatever needs to be moved or bring food to the model i, tr I try to always have someone nearby who can um, help the model with whatever she needs if she needs to make a makeup touch up or she needs like a quick quick like drink they'll be the one to go and get it um you know if she's starting to sweat you just it just makes better use of your time but anyways, you get some money together and then you just produce the shoot and, you know, I'll give credit to everyone, but I also produced the shoot and then I'll say, hey, everyone's going to sign a contract and I'm going to sell these photos uh, and then I'm going to use that money for more photo shoots where I'll pay you guys more. If I'm paying you, I don't usually give you a cut. If I'm not paying you, I do. I feel that that's fair. Like you get kind of get one or the other. Um, a lot of artists that you can hire online will ask, are you going to sell this? If the answer is yes, then they ask for a little bit more instead of asking for a percentage, right? Like an actor might get a percentage of a movie or just more up front. Um, but yeah, chase your, follow your dreams. Even if you don't have a lot of time, like you, you work and you want to get good at photography, you know, you can do, um, you know, photograph your little miniatures, photograph your toys. A lot of people do that. They'll set up Ninja Turtles and blow a little fog at them or use dry ice to bring in mist. Like you can, you can do cool stuff or, you know, if you don't have a model, you can grab your kids. You can, you can use yourself as a model. I'm going to use myself for makeup later, right? Cause I need to test makeup. I want to get more theatrical with makeup. So I'm going to just practice on myself. Um, one of the reasons I was a bouncer actually, just more story time, cause I like story time is I wanted to meet a lot of people so I'd have a lot of models to work with and a lot of people to create with because I like making friends and I like being creative. And <laughs> the thing I had to learn is people when they are drinking are not the same as when they're sober. And so after like the eighth person was like, oh, I'm busy or oh, never mind. I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm done with you guys. 
You guys are cool. You guys are awesome. You guys are not helping me at all. <laughs> uh, yeah.